Whoa. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is Christmas Eve day and it also happens to be Monday, which means it is Magic Mail Monday here on this channel. Magic Mail Monday is a day that I've set aside in my filming schedule to open Disney related P.O. Box mail from you all. I'm always delighted when I go to my P.O. Box and I find um, fun cards and, and cute gifts and things. So I super appreciate anyone that has sent anything to me. Um, but for today's video, because we are so close to Christmas I kind of dug through my mail pile and picked out the things that seemed like they might be kind of holiday-ish or Christmassy um, in nature so that's what I'll be opening up today I do have a pretty big stack of mail so hopefully I can get through everything or most everything but in order to do that I'm not gonna waste any more time on this intro and I'm just gonna get to your magic mail I'm gonna get started with this box it's actually a Scentsy box and this is from Michelle I recognize Michelle from my comment section Michelle is in Indiana so hello to Michelle thanks for sending me a box of magic mail and a, and a cute scentsy box I have already cut through the tape on the box just for simplicity's sake and I'm seeing some really fun looking goodies in here but I'm going to start with the card here is the card and it is a very Christmassy card it says tis the season I think there are some goodies tucked into the card as well they're kind of falling out as I'm opening it and there is a very sweet personal note written by Michelle inside of this card so I really appreciate um, your kind thoughts Michelle and I'm in all the nice things that you've shared and then let me show you what she tucked in there is a Harry baby Baymax and mochi sticker and that same sticker design on this cute little button which I love and this amazing postcard which I believe is a my little pony and Harry Potter mashup so it has the little um, ponies or I guess unicorns in their Hogwarts outfits and sorted into their various houses. I absolutely love this, and of course this one with the glasses, the Luna Pony, is for um, my house, Ravenclaw. This was so thoughtful, Michelle, thank you. I'm gonna look and see what's inside um, the box you sent me now. First, I am seeing a Scentsy air freshener. I've gotten a couple Scentsy things in the mail lately. I knew nothing about Scentsy until a couple weeks ago, but this is a Belle and Enchanted Rose air freshener. Here's a close-up look at that. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney animated movie of all time. I'm also seeing this really cool Beauty and the Beast thing. This is called Metal Figs. Metal Figs, like metal, metal figures, I guess. And it's a metal fig of Provincial Belle, Belle in her blue dress, which is my favorite Belle. This is so great because you don't typically see a lot of figures of Belle in her blue dress. Usually she's in her ball gown, so I absolutely love this. I'll find a nice place to put her out. It looks like there's a couple of books. Oh, cool. Is this like a Zootopia dream journal? A Zootopia dream journal. It says, Judy's dream files. Write about your dreams. Oh, that's cool. So it's not about like journaling the dreams that you have when you're asleep. It's like journaling like your goals and things. Um, but it has like a Zootopia theme to it. And it's really, really cool. I've never seen this before either. Thank you so much. Very thoughtful. And then finally, we have a Monsters University sticker and activity pad. And I do love Disney stickers. And apparently there are over 600 stickers in here. Awesome. And here's a look at some of the stickers. Thank you so much. I will add this to the uh, sticker collection in my filing cabinet back there. That was such a sweet and thoughtful package, Michelle. I definitely recognize you from the comment section of my videos. I hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday and happy new year. Next up, I have this package and I recognize the name on this. This is from Dana in Philadelphia. Dana and I have been chatting on Instagram for quite a while. She's a longtime a subscriber and member of my Facebook group and just an all around cool human being. And she mentioned she was sending me a Christmas package and that she had put some Krampus stickers on the outside um, and she was like will you be offended if I put Krampus on the outside of your package and I was like no very few things offend me for the record there are some things that like irritate me a little bit or annoy me a little bit but I don't really actually get offended uh, very easily I think being offended is a choice personally and, and I choose to not be offended and I do get a kick out of these Krampus stickers like why is Krampus on stickers I don't know, but I love that they're on this package. Okay, let me open up this package from Dana. Um, so I'm seeing 
a Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, um, the play, the Broadway play, um, shopping bag. So cool. I love Harry Potter things. Here's the card. Lots of fun, cute uh, Christmassy stickers on it. Oh, I love this card. It's got kind of a vintage look to it. It looks like a vintage postage stamp and it says good tidings and it's got Mickey and Minnie in Santa's sleigh. Look at the little Donald toy in the back. Love it. From one Ravenclaw to another, please enjoy this special pin straight from Broadway's Cursed Child Play. A Broadway Harry Potter pin? What? Hope you like the extra bits as well. The ornament is from the Philly Christmas Village. There's an ornament and a pin? Dana. And look at what she tucked into the card. It says, Vintage Beauty and the Beast stickers from Disney World. Vintage Beauty and the Beast stickers from Disney World. Look at this one with the birds. Oh my gosh, new favorite sticker ever. There's also a second card in her package that says, probably should not read out loud. So I'm gonna open it up. Um, yeah, and I want to show you the front of the card, and then I'll read it to myself um, privately, <laughs> per her request. But this card is amazing. It says, you're Ravenclawsome. Get it? Like Ravenclaw and also awesome? That's hilarious. And now I think this is the pin. Very excited about the pin. Oh, cool! This is so cool! So it's from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and it's a Ravenclaw badge. Let me just take it out of its packaging. Check it out. Little Ravenclaw like um, banner pennant. I love this. Thanks, Dana. And it's from Broadway. Makes it even better. Broadway. And there are two more little wrapped up goodies. So let me open these. So there are two Harry Potter and the Cursed Child buttons that say hashtag keep the secrets. So cool. I really hope to see this uh, in New York at some point. We'll see if I get to New York anytime in the near future. And I think she said there's an ornament in this one. I love Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, oh, it's a little train ornament. I love trains, in case you haven't heard me go ranting on and on about trains before. This is so pretty. So it's a beautiful little Christmas train inside of a wreath. I love this. I love these kind of glass ornaments like this. They kind of have like a, like an old school look to them. I, I just love ornaments like this. So thank you so much, Dana. That was so thoughtful. And I love that it's from your Christmas fair. And then she did also send me from New York the uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child show bill or, or play bill. So that's amazing. Excited to look through these. I actually know someone in this uh, in this play. Still haven't seen it, but um, one of the actors, one of the actors that actually understudies Harry Potter, used to take my yoga classes all the time. And then finally in her package was this gorgeous Wonderground Gallery postcard of the sort of wintry Christmas scene from Beauty and the Beast when they're out singing There's Something There and they're having the snowball fight and feeding the birds and I love this scene. Dana, you are the best. Thank you for being my friend and I hope that we get to meet in person in 2019. Crossing my fingers. This little mailer right here is from Amy in Dayton, Ohio. Hello, Amy in Dayton, Ohio. And there is a cute Christmas card tucked into this one. Ooh, there's some postcards in here too, some Christmassy, Christmassy art cards. Hi, Becca, hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Enclosed is a pin I came across a while ago and I thought you would give it a good home. I know you like trains and transportation. Yes, I do. Thanks so much, Amy. Cute card, by the way. There's cute stickers in here. So here are the festive postcards. We've got Bambi and Thumper on ice. I love this scene. This makes you want to rewatch Bambi. And also this amazing Santa Goofy postcard. I love Santa Goofy, so this makes me smile. Okay, I'm peeking inside and I'm pulling out the pin. Ooh, I don't think I've seen this pin ever before. And it's really neat, it's from Walt Disney World. It says Walt Disney World Railroad down here at the bottom. And there is um, one of the Disney steam trains. And then there's like this pin on pin piece of Mickey with his suitcases, presumably getting ready to ride the rails. What a cool pin. I have a really teeny side collection of Disney train pins and things. And um, I'm excited to have this. I'm looking for a year on the back. It says 2014 on the back, so maybe this pin is still available and I just have never noticed it before, but I totally love it. Thank you so much. What a thoughtful gift, and I will treasure this one for sure. Can always use more, more Disney trains in my life. Next I have this mailer from Michaela in Philadelphia. Wow, this is my second package from Philadelphia today. It's just a Philly kind of day, and it says, Happy Holidays, Fragile Magic Mail. Hi, Michaela. I'm excited to open your magic mail. Thanks for sending me something. Ooh, okay. I think I found a card first. Oh my gosh, it's an elf card. Elf, uh, like Will Ferrell elf card. 
It said, I wouldn't forget to wish someone as nice as you a Merry Christmas. And then it says, gosh, only a cotton-headed ninny muggins would do something like that. Happy holidays and have a magical day, Michaela from Philadelphia. I love this card. Thank you, Michaela. So fun. And there's also a really nice long handwritten note tucked into the card, so I will skim that now and read it more thoroughly when I'm not filming. I love to read people's notes, but I like to read them kind of quietly and not when I'm filming, if that makes sense. Okay, inside of her package, there are two fun things. There's like a little wrapped up thing, and then there's like a pouch. Look at the pouch, though. The pouch has O'Malley and Duchess from the Aristocats and like a holiday scene. Look at this crazy pouch. So cute. Let's go for the pouch first. Ooh, I think it's pins. Here they come. <laughs> Yes, I am feeling that there are several pins in this uh, little packet here. I'm gonna try to get it open and, and uh, take them out without them going all over the place. Holy moly, this is huge. This is definitely a fantasy pin. I think these are all fantasy pins. So cool. So first there is this really big fantasy pin. It's a Toy Story fantasy pin. Obviously it's in the shape of a heart. It's huge. And it's got Buzz Lightyear and Jessie and he's dipping her. She has a rose in her mouth and it's actually like a pin on pin. I love this. I've been on a Toy Story kick uh, all year because of the Toy Story Land opening at Walt Disney World. So I love having this. I'm gonna put this with my little Toy Story collection and um, what a cool pin. I've never seen this fantasy pin before. And then I think there's four more. Oh, how cute, and they're all animal pins. So this first one is a little stylized um, Bambi fantasy pin, very cute. And then she sent me two different Disney owls. This first one, I believe, is the owl from The Fox and the Hound. Is she called Mama? Uh, I might be making that up, but the owl from The Fox and the Hound, which is one of my favorite movies, so it's kind of embarrassing that I can't think of her name, but I think she goes by Mama in the movie, and she sings, and she's super rad. Then we have my favorite Disney owl, and one of my favorite Disney sidekicks possible, Archimedes from The Sword and the Stone. I love this pin. There are so few Archimedes pins out there, um, so I'm excited to add this to my super teeny collection of, of Disney owls and, and Archimedes specifically. I like to collect more Archimedes, but um, they're kind of hard to find, so this was a great thoughtful pick for me. Thank you. And finally, this may be my favorite. It is Jiminy Cricket with two little Disney bluebirds in a nest, and he looks kind of frightened because I think he thinks they might eat him. Um, but this is Disney, so that's totally not gonna happen. But what a cool design. Really love like the flowers, the leaves, the nest, and I love the expression on Jiminy's face. Fantasy pins are so interesting. They are just like kind of amazing me lately. And then let's see what is in here. I think she mentioned that it's one of those um, diamond paintings, which I've never tried a diamond painting, but they seem to be very popular right now. Okay, so it is indeed a diamond painting. This is the uh, the canvas, and then these are the little, um, I don't really know how it works actually. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Oh, here's the little diamonds. And then, oh my goodness, look at the design of this. This is the design of the diamond painting. It's Belle sitting in a couple of teacups, and at the bottom you have Chip. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn how to do these diamond painting things. People say that they're very relaxing and like meditative, so I'm gonna figure this out and I'll let you all know how it goes. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about this. Michaela, super appreciate this. Hopefully this is gonna calm me down in 2019, and also thank you so much for the awesome fantasy pins. They will fit very nicely into my, my various collections, and um, big hugs to you, and, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and and I wish you lots of happiness in 2019. Next I have a pretty blue bubble mailer that has come to me from the United Kingdom. I know the name on the return address. Someone very special and lovely sent me this. So I think there is a card and also um, a pin. This is from my friend Karen. Karen has a YouTube channel, Karen's USA Adventures. If you have not seen Karen's channel, please go check her out. She is hilarious. Like She's just the most charming and frankly funny person ever um, and she sent me a Christmas card and she sent me a pin and I think I know which pin this is I think it's almost like borderline inside joke kind of pin but I'm excited to open this as well what's going on here with this card it says for me and Aaron it says you'll like the card on the envelope oh my gosh the card says the 12 bad jokes of Christmas 
Becca and Aaron have a cracking Christmas um, and a happy and healthy new year with love, Karen, Phil, Savannah, and Blair, Blake, Blair. Am I getting it wrong? I'm probably getting it wrong. But this is from the wonderful Karen. Go check out her channel. She's so funny. And now look at this card. So it says the 12 bad jokes of Christmas and there's little jokes on Christmas crackers. Oh, now I get it, cracking. That would make sense. So let's open one of these up. This one says, how do we know what Santa has for dinner? I'm gonna open it up, let's see, how do we know? Oh my gosh, the punchline is, he posts it on Instagram. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. I cannot wait to read through the rest of these with my spouse. I think we're gonna get a total kick out of this card, so thank you, Karen. This is up there among my favorite holiday cards ever. And now here is the pin. Oh yes, it's exactly what I thought. So Karen watched my um, pin unboxing monorail crawl video that I did with um, Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. We got kind of tipsy and we're at the monorail resorts opening pins and we opened the Cinderella mystery pin boxes and I kept saying that I really wanted the horses pin. Um, and we didn't get the horses pin, we got like the uh, the steward or the duke or something and I was all bummed out. But Karen recently unboxed these on her channel and she got the horses and she tucked this pin into my Christmas card. That's so sweet and, and also pretty funny. If you haven't watched that monorail crawl video, by the way, um, it's very Disney kitty after dark, but it's definitely like a good laugh. <laughs> Okay, and here's the pin. It's the mice that have been turned to horses, and it's so cute. I love this. I'm not gonna collect the whole set, but I'm really excited to have this one single puzzle piece. Karen, I just love you. You have a generous heart and a great sense of humor, and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. I'm gonna link to Karen's channel down below. I'm also gonna link to that monorail crawl video down below um, so you can see where the horse's pin came from, and also just, you know, maybe have a glass of wine while you watch it, and you can laugh along with us. All right, I have one more package that I wanna share with you, and then I have several Christmas cards and holiday cards that I'd like to share at the end of this video, so hang in there with me. We're gonna do this box, and then a bunch of cards, and then the second to last day of advent calendars, and then tomorrow it's gonna be Christmas, which is crazy. So this box is from RJ in Washington, and it says magic mail on it uh, all around the side. So hi RJ in Washington. I think you might have Instagram messaged me. I'll message you back when I hang up my camera. Let me open this up. Some various uh, Mickey head tissue. And then also a card. Oh my gosh, I think there's a lot of things in here. There's a card that says Becca, Disney Kitty, Disney Kitty. It's got a cute Mickey on it, and then there are actually some um, some stickers tacked inside, which I love. It's a card that comes with stickers. Perfect card for me. RJ says, Becca, thank you for being a bright light on YouTube sharing the Disney magic. Your love for pins has inspired me to start my own collection. Good luck. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these gifts as a token of my thanks and appreciation. Each item represents something you've mentioned on your channel. Enjoy, RJ. Thank you. There's a lot of fun things in here, and then look, there were two um, Wonderground postcards tucked into the into the Christmas card too. So there is a Snow White Scary Adventures card and kind of a Tiki Tree card. I love these both so much. Two of my favorite things: Snow White and Tiki Room. First thing I'm seeing in this box is this cool wrapped up thing. It's wrapped up in Disney paper. It's got Disney animals on it. I gotta up my Disney wrapping paper game what is in here. Oh, this looks fun. It says Disney Tsum Tsum Lights and Sounds Snow White. Lights and Sounds Snow White. Oh. So here she is. It's Snow White. And then I think if you push on her back, maybe. <laughs> My cheeks light up and I chatter. So that was Snow White chatter. One more time, please. Whoa, that is definitely different. I have never seen this before. It is hilarious. RJ, you have me very intrigued by chattering light up Snow White. I think I might try to scare my spouse with it. The next thing I'm seeing is this little um, Winnie the Pooh container, kind of looks like a pencil case. There's a sticky note on it that says, open me, so I, I will open you. And inside here, there is some, um, some stuff wrapped up in tissue. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's pins in here. I love it. This is a great way to package pins. I don't think I've seen this pin before. It says Disney Store 2001, exclusive commemorative pin, obviously featuring 
the Seven Dwarves from Snow White. This will go great in my Snow White pin collection. Thank you. And then we have two Santa Winnie the Pooh Bear pins. This is Pooh dressed up as Santas from all around the world. I've actually seen this series before. I've never owned any of them though. So this is apparently the Welsh Winnie the Pooh Christmas Santa. They're kind of like little um, tree toppers on these cards. And this is the United Kingdom one, and he's dressed up and also perched atop the tree. These are so cool. I wish I would have had these in time for my um, my Christmas board, but they'll have to go on next year's Christmas pin board. These are super fun. I love uh, Winnie the Pooh stuff, and especially holiday Winnie the Pooh stuff. Thank you. I had been looking at these on eBay, believe it or not, so um, thanks for saving me a trip to eBay. Next, I'm pulling out this interestingly shaped wrapped item. Feels like it might be like a cup. Maybe like a goblet or a glass. Light up flashing Coke cup. Oh, cool. So it says under the spell of fall. Oh yeah, and it lights up. That is trippy. You can put your Coke in here, which I do drink my Diet Coke sometimes. And then like the bottom goes crazy. And this is awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm into this actually. I'm totally gonna use this. It's totally gonna freak out my spouse. This box goes on and on. Next I'm pulling out a box within a box. This is a silver box and on it there's a sticky note that says, for the love of pins. I relate to that. Oh, for the love of pins. Ooh. So I was kind of thinking there would be pins in this box, but there are pins that are actually pinned onto beautiful, delicate little snowflake ornaments. What a brilliant idea, first of all. And what a generous idea, second of all. So there are little snowflake ornaments with Disney pins pinned to the center. I wanna do a whole tree like this. That'll freak my husband out. Okay, let me show you close-ups of all of these little pin ornaments. There are several more of these Santa Poos. We've got Poland Santa Poo, Switzerland Santa Poo, so cute. That one says Finland Santa Poo, and he's got the wreath with the candles on his head. And finally, Greece Santa Poo. And he also sent me White Rabbit on a snowflake. I love White Rabbit, one of my favorite Disney sidekicks. And my favorite villain, Old Hag slash Evil Queen on a snowflake. That's a spooky snowflake there. Pretty pin. And this is the final one and probably the coolest pin of them all or the fairest pin of them all. You've got kind of this large pin with um, Evil Queen and then the magic mirror around the sides and she's like looking at her reflection, being like, who's the fairest of them all this Christmas? Amazing, thank you, I love this, this is awesome. This is like a new fave for me. Gorgeous, never seen that one before. Wow, those Disney pin snowflakes were such a cool idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that, but I'm gonna think about it next year for sure. Um, there's a couple more things in here, if you can believe that. I'm seeing this little, this little guy next, little penguin pouch package, penguin pouch package. I see Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps. All right, so they are little charms with little actual Tsum Tsums on them, and then they say, never give up. Um, and I just noticed on the Nick Wilde one, there's also a little, um, there's a baby carriage on it. Oh my goodness, that's gonna make me cry. If you've been watching my channel, if you've been hanging around for a while, you know why I would feel kind of emotional about that, but these are super thoughtful, so cute. Did you make these, RJ? I wanna know. Um, but wow, this is their darling, first of all, and this is actually very touching. Okay, catching my breath a little bit. A couple more things to open. Everything is so neatly wrapped, and I'm a terrible wrapper, so I appreciate your, your wrapping skills. What is in here? Something, oh cute, we've got some kitty cat bookmarks. Cute little kitties for, uh, for doing your reading. I love this calico one the best, so thoughtful. And then this is, oh it says Disney Princess Adhesive Patches. I've seen these, these are so cool too. I've been wanting some of these like Disney patches and things that they've been coming out with. Here is this, very fun, it says Party Crasher, that's obviously the Cinderella one. Foodie, that's a good one for me, that's the Tiana, Princess and the Frog one. I love the Belle one, it says I've got big plans. I have big plans too, girl. This one says Friend to Dragons, so it's obviously the Mulan patch. And the Princess Jasmine one says Going Places. I love these, these are super cool. These will definitely fit well into my sticker collection. I'm gonna try to find good things to put these on though. I got, I got some decorating to do. That was an incredible box. That was like a full on mystery box in and of itself. Very thoughtful gifts. Um, I will save those poo 
Christmas Santa pins for a future pin board and I also collect seasonal Winnie the Pooh so those are perfect for my collection and I loved your idea about the pins on the snowflakes and everything was just so sweet and thoughtful so thank you so much and I'm still cracking up over this thing whoa before I send you over to my Disney pin advent calendars, last but not least, I do have several holiday cards from you guys, um, subscribers and also fellow YouTube friends that I'd like to share. I have a feeling that when I get to around editing, this video is gonna be a bit on the long side. So I'm gonna get close to my camera and just kind of show them one at a time. Oh my goodness, this card is amazing. This first card is from a fellow YouTube friend of mine, Corey, over at the YouTube channel, Corey Fiasco. And this is a Figment Christmas card. He got this in Epcot for sure. And I'm looking at the back and actually the card has um, like an ornament that you can cut out and put together and hang on your tree. So it's, it's two things in one. It's a Christmas card and also um, a holiday ornament. And I'm not gonna read you the, the note inside because Corey's kind of a personal friend of mine, um, but he did give me a Starbucks card too, which was so nice. So thank you, Corey. I will link to Corey's channel down below. Go check him out. He just moved down to Orlando and he's now like a full-time Disney World <laughs> resident. This next adorable card is from Ashley in Michigan. And I just read the card and she um, made a reference to this cardinal, this little bird that's flying above them. And she said that she shares the same passion for cardinals that me and my husband do, and that she thinks of cardinals as visitors from heaven, which I have heard before, and I think that's really beautiful. So thank you, Ashley, for um, for saying that, and um, I hope you get many visitors from heaven um, <laughs> in the new year. I love the card, thank you, so cute. This card is from my friend Coral over at the YouTube channel, Coral Joy Travel, a dear friend of mine, beautiful family, and I love that her card says, it's a wonderful life. It's definitely been um, an interesting year of my life and I would tend to agree after the year that I've had that it is a wonderful life. It's a wonderful and interesting and um, always richer and richer life. <laughs> so this is a card from Coral. I'll link to Coral's channel, Coral Joy Travel down below and I'm wishing you and your fam some really happy holiday downtime coral. This next lovely card is from Katie in Fresno, California, and I just read the inside of the card and she said she actually watches my videos while she works out, um, which is actually a great idea. I should totally watch YouTube while I work out. I might be more motivated to, to work out a little bit longer, um, but I'm really glad to hear that and Merry Christmas to you, Katie, and happy holidays, and um, I'm gonna take your advice and, and watch some videos while I work out in the new year. This next card is from my friend Erica, and Erica is actually one of the first friends I made when I joined YouTube. She was one of the very first people to reach out and be friendly to me. She became a mom this year and she's got this little cutie Hugo. And the only reason I'm showing this card on the internet is because her kiddo is frequently in her videos, so I don't think she'll mind. Um, so there's some beautiful family photos and then also the family kitty, which I love. So I'll link to Erica's channel, Erica Moulton, down below. And happy holidays, girl. And I'm really happy for you and your, um, your growing family and also your kitty is adorable. Oh my gosh, look at this next card. It's a Zootopia card. It says Merry Christmas and it's got Nick and Judy on it. I love this. I haven't seen this before. Um, this is from Jenny. Hi Jenny, thanks for, for sending me this amazing card that I've never seen before. Inside it says, I love your channel and keep sharing Disney magic. So thank you so much, Jenny. This next card is beautiful, super Disney-ish, like more Disney characters than I can count on it. This is from Lisa and Dayland in Texas. And not only did they send me a cute car, but they sent me a sheet of Disney planning stickers, Beauty and the Beast planning stickers. I love these. I still do a little bit of planning uh, these days. And they're from Pretty Sheepy, one of my favorite shops. So that was so nice. And I love this card. And um, lots of love and holiday blessings to you and your family in Texas, one of the states I have not yet visited, but maybe that will change in the new year. The final card I will share on today's Magic Mail is from Alice in Colorado. And Alice has tucked something very special into this card. She actually sent me some Disney blotting papers. She wrote that these are actually from Japan and they have Snow White on the outside. So that's perfect for me. So thank you so much, Alice, for the cute blotting papers and the very sweet note inside of your card, which I which I just read, means a lot to me. And I love these. I know that when I go to Japan, I will not only be buying all the Disney things, but I will also be buying all of the amazing Japanese cosmetics items. Wow, and that does it for this Christmas Eve edition of Magic 
Magic Mail Monday. Thank you so, so much to everyone who sent cards, presents, people who have emailed me, who have DM'd me, who have PM'd me, DMs, PMs, emails, oh my. I just really appreciate all of the people who have been um, so kind and supportive during Vlogmas. I always say this in my Magic Mail videos, but if you have sent me mail and I haven't shown it yet, chances are it's coming. And if you're really worried, send me an email um, and I can double check and make sure it's in my stack in the, in the guest bedroom. But thank you again to everybody who has sent something. There's just one day left till Christmas, y'all, and if you are here for my Vlogmas Disney pin advent calendars, those are coming up right now, and I'll see you tomorrow for the final day of Vlogmas. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas Eve. It is time to open some advent calendars for you. I actually have the final door in my amazing Disneyland Paris advent calendar to open. I'm noticing that this door is um, a little bit larger. You probably can't see it on camera. It's a little bit larger than the rest of the doors, so I'm interested to see what's in here. I bet it's gonna be Mickey Mouse, maybe Mickey and Minnie and maybe a slightly larger pin, not totally sure, but this is the last door on this calendar, so hope it's a good one. Let's open it up right now. Oh, it is Mickey and Minnie, and it's also Mickey Mouse head-shaped, the ornament, so it's a very special ornament. And that is just a really cute pin. Minnie is giving Mickey a smooch, and you can still see the castle in the background and one of the ears. I really love this pin. That was a great way to end this advent calendar. And now we will check out the December 24th door for my mystery pin calendar. This door features a little piglet. I love those poo characters. And here is today's blind bag. There is a door for December 25th that of course features Mickey and Minnie. And there's actually two pins in here, so I will have one more advent calendar opening tomorrow and um, Aaron's gonna help me do it, so stay tuned for that. Here is the December 24th pin. All right, oh, and it's my favorite princess of all time. It is Snow White and she is on one of these nifty gold frame pins. Really love this pin. I think I might already have this because I have um, a pretty big Snow White collection, so this might end up being a trader or a gift for me. Um, but I do love her, and I do really love this pin set. So pretty. That is all for today's advent calendar openings. I hope you are having a magical Christmas Eve with your family. That is what I'm doing right now. I will be back tomorrow with the final day of Vlogmas, the final advent calendar opening. I hope you are just spending your time well with people that you love and as much as I hope you're watching my videos, I hope you're not spending too much of your holiday season looking at a screen. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Merry Christmas everyone and I'll see you real soon. Bye!